Hey everyone, this is Mash Crazier, and I'm Dan Zizzer. And before we go into this next room, just let you know, <clears throat> see, everything for this quest, starting from when we fell into the right side of the roof, all the way down to the sealed room, we started to enter this optional quest. So, this is actually the end of this long optional quest. It's an optional course it goes. You know it's upside down. Hmm, wonder why it's upside down. We were in a guest room. And who is that girl? You can't try to wake me! Go away! Let's just try first. Oh boy, what the bad, I promise. Oh. Here's a hint. Here's a hint. Use water to wet her. To wake her up. Should we go again? And. She'll wake up. Should we catch her? Watch out for those things. And unfortunately, I have to get bronze on that optional ghost. But can I get gold? Can I get gold? Can I get gold? Might be a good idea to get all these clouds before getting this ghost. So you have a better time getting gold or even silver. But unfortunately, I have to get bronze, I think. Nope! I got silver. Alright, silver! Dang it! Stupid mushroom! Yeah. Oh, I hate those mushrooms. Now we can just finish her off. Ugh. Well, that proves you can get silver. Now that we're gonna do this very funny. And apparently you can't. But anyway, in order to get that chest up there, you have to get next to the room. Go in the same room. And what was that? Right, sit up. Yeah. Hold on for a second, guys. I need to adjust. Sit down. We're suggesting the screen. That's all. And here is just a lot of money as well as another one of these rare things. Oh, that's a long option quest. But thankfully, I managed to get to it. Silver on that thing. How do you know you got silver? Yeah, there's a sapphire in this plant. Yay. Giddy giddy. Um, we're not talking about quagmire. Anything else? Yeah, there's some money in here. And let's go back in here. There was a heart in here. And apparently that's all for the elements for now. Now we're doing the quest. Let's continue on with the game. It's for heart. I'm gonna split all my wire elements. So we don't need it anymore. For this point. We need to use all three elements. Okay. Also, let's do we still need to find out why that room is like that. We go to the balcony. Yeah. Also, we do we just show you the whole run through the thing. So anyway, let's get back in the main story. Our last key told us we have to go into this room next door. Now it's this room right here. This room is called the Armory. Now this is very difficult since basically. It, no, not that. There's some money. Yeah. But the difficult thing about this room is that the ghosts are in what you would not think they would be in. This is the armor. Where would they be, obviously? Duh. And it's things. Also, we 
people do not watch out for the weapons. And when you hit that one, you get the beast. And there's that one as a heart. It's a good idea to just have one at a time. So you just get each of them. And there we go. We got this one. And unfortunately, we will be unable to do the heart. But what's in here? Okay, let's get this ghost. Uh, the, uh, the army stuff. Yeah, what's in this chest? More money. Duh, more money. Also, what's behind that thing? A mirror. Also, there is a poster in that washroom that was optional, but if you get it, it will hurt you. So, you know, there's nothing in there. Yeah. Also, both of those thing ghosts are in those chests. You have to get all the ghosts. It's actually the most complicated room since it's in the armory. Okay, I just like like in this one. There we go. We get the most female ghost. Yeah, the most fem. It's female. Whatever you say. And we're gonna do something else. Yeah. Oh, it's a red molester. Why you call them molesters? They molest you. Oh. Also, when the weapon goes down, that's a, that's a sure hint that there's a ghost. If it doesn't go down, it's a heart. And that's all the ghosts. But in here, we get the key, which will lead us straight to a room in the basement. So we have to use the key there, then we have to use the key somewhere else. Yeah, also, this next room, this next room is the location of the game's final optional portrait ghost. After we get this ghost in the ceramic studio, we got them all. Anyway, you notice there's some pots, there's hearts and money in each of them. There's a red jewel in this one. Yeah, let's get some money. You know, after looking around the pots for a while, we get some money first. You check them around. This one has money. Anyway, we need to check all these pots. For parts. Pots and stuff. There's a gold bar. There's some money in this pot. Now then. I wonder how we're supposed to do this again. Oh, there we go. Oh, you! With the mustache! Show you! There we go. Alright. What do you think we owe me jar collection? Then, put in my time. Don't you say? Well, maybe I just leave you looking for free. Wait, why are we using the ice? <laughs> well, if my brother, if if Nick, Tron, and my brother Davis are watching this, they should know that someone and Davis failed the first time. No, can we take it off? Good to view me jar. She be a challenge first. Yeah. It's look, it's on then. She freezes the iceberg. If you send me, then you wait right here. If you lose me, it's at the door with you. Yes, yeah, so you have to freeze them seven times. See him in the jar? Freeze him. There we go, like that. Freeze him. There we go. This one's pretty easy. Can't believe someone has failed. Like, someone like this. I think it's in one of those four pots, not those. Yeah, the thing only appears in those four pots up there. Yeah, I think it does only appear in those four pots up there. I think. Give over, mate. Feels hard. You got some video, boyo. Alright, that's pretty easy. In your face, whoever failed. Well, this is the guys who did the repl who did the original let's play. If you failed, then you then good try. Sure wish me you Yeah. So if you want to stuff in one of these pots. And watch out for the pots, they will go after you. So here we go. Bell optional ghost. No mercy. 
So far off to go. Let's get gold. And guess what? On the final option of ghost, we get gold. Alright. Gold on the final option of ghost. Watch out the pots. The boo can be one of those pots. What if it was in the chest? It'd be very interesting. And there we go. Since that was the last option of ghost, for the rest of the game, we will be doing the rest of the storyline. So yeah. Oh, let's activate the boo. Yeah, the boots are kind of annoying. Just so you know, after we get, after we get the, the key to where the final boss is lurking, which is King Boo, in other words, that locked door right there, which is right next to that area three area, aka the well. Yeah, that's where the final boss will be, which is King Boo. Before we face him, we're going to. There we get the rest of the booze. And basically, if you gave him one boo, you would be able to face him. Wait, so you'd be able to face him even if you caught one boo? Yeah. We'll show you a cutscene. Right now, we're going to take care of one of the rooms, and then we'll call it a video. Also, one thing annoying about these two basement rooms is that every time you have to go through the cellar, Here's a good thing. Try this. As a trick. Yeah. That should be useful. It's not that really annoying. But in this final basement room, all you'll see are stuff. Are these annoying ghosts and the mine ghosts. As well as this final room. Anyway, let's see what's in this final room right here. So anyway, we go through this room. Let's hold this hallway. And we go to this room right here. Saying about this room. White gloves. A good little mustache. Soft shoes. How do you get out of my? I like that. What's? Hot ways and your clothes are green. You ain't much wood. Well, you gotta be a bit confused for a moment there. Wait, one of these is my right. So I'm not gonna let her tradition. I like mine just where he is. Okay, so what's you got there? A player's 2,000? Uh-oh. Should we boost? Could they boost? Guys, all boost in this area. Gather strength. We'll blow them away. See, we'll be breath. And blow you away. They'll blow you right back to the front of the mansion. Yeah, like that. That's what would they do. Now, I can't... Wait, wait why do you say we're going to do that final room when we just did that? I don't know. I just feel like doing it. Alright. Now let's just clap on the ceiling. And go down here. And just open this door. And... So what do I want to do? We're almost done the video. Yeah, the video is almost done. So what should we do? Uh, you know what? Okay, yeah, so they I think I feel like doing. You know what? Let's do it. Wait. Next time. Yeah. Sorry about that. We just want to show you what happens. But anyway, this has been Max Razor. And this is Dan Zizza. And next time. Next time, not this video. Sorry about the line. We just want to show you what happens if you go into this final room before the final, where the final boss is before you get all the booze. But anyway. Like, no. I think he's 40. Yeah, so if you get one more boo right now, then you'll be able to face the final boss now. But you can't since you have to get a key. Yeah, so you have to go through this room. Yeah, that's off. That's that, that option mandatory. But anyway, next time we'll be entering this room. And then we could possibly be almost finishing up the game. Yeah. We'll finish up the game once we get all the boos. Yeah, so the episode after the fun, the episode we got the booze will be the final episode. Yeah, we might even show these ghosts before that. But anyway, welcome. Okay, all right, guys, see you guys later. This has been Max Grisher, and this is Dan Scissor. We'll see you guys next time for more of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion.